Okay guys, in this video I am going to go ahead and teach you how to become an online DJ on a Mac. First thing you're going to need to do is load up a different window and go to puremac.com. Go ahead and let that load up. Um, you should get the site right here if you typed it in correctly. Spelling again. You're going to have all these tables right here. You can see them all. You're going to find multimedia and scroll down just a tad. Find iTunes and MP3 and click it. Uh, you're going to have a bunch of mini tables, sub tables. Uh, you're going to need to find players and yeah, that's about it. Uh, players and find Mac Amp Lite X. Select it. Um, you're going to get this little window, I guess, it's kind of small, not sure. Um, but yeah, it scrolls you down automatically. But you're going to come up to this on the top of your screen. You're going to go ahead and download. Go ahead and download. Alright, after you have downloaded Mac Amp Lite X and have successfully opened it up, look on the top left hand corner of your screen. You should have something that looks like this. Other way around though. Right. Uh, there we go. Okay, yes. Uh, if you drag it other ways, it will swap out. So. Anyway, it's gonna look like this. Um. What you're going to need to do is click the arrow right here. Uh, go to Windows, Show Plugins. Click it. And it should bring up this window right here. Show Plugins. I'm not sure how it's going to look for you guys. For me, it's a bit different. Um, yeah. If these are all um, folded up like that, you are going to need to go ahead and unfold them. Just like that. Ta da! Scroll down a bit until you come to broadcast. This is what you are going to use to broadcast. Go figure. Click edit and it should bring down a window from the top of the screen. Connected. Uh, you are going to insert all of your settings that you have been given. Right there. Just for you. Um, IRC and ICQ and AIM. I don't really use those too much, so they're not as important, so who cares. Hit OK, and uh, it should look like this. Um, well, not like that, like this. Uh, go ahead, click Broadcast. And as you can see, it was establishing connection, and then it said air connection closed too quickly. Check. Yeah, it doesn't finish. Um, it means that somebody's already on. Uh, DJ's already on, but if you... If nobody is on and you have uh, successfully inserted all of your information, then it would say on air. So here is my playlist. I'm not going to show songs for special reasons. I don't want to get sued by any of the artists. I know that they're going to find some possible way if they can. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I have it highlighted right here. And the green, white, green, right, you can change that by going to Mac Amp Lite up on the top. Click Preferences, it should bring up this. Click Use Alternate Gridding, change to color, let's make it purple. Purple, yeah, purple. Hit. Okay. As you can see, it just changed. Um, yes, it helps a ton. So, um, yeah, you're going to insert all of your files. Um, once you have them entered, you are going to have them played. Make sure they all work perfectly fine. Um, double click or hit enter on one of them. And as you can see, that was a bit loud if you could hear that in the background. Um, and that will start playing. This notifies you that a song is playing. When it goes faded like that, that means that song is already played. And that comes in tone. Like, very handy. You don't even know. It helps a lot. Okay, so it says idle when you hit stop right here. Stop. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, those DJs that enjoy actually talking to listeners, voiceover comes in here. Um, it might be all the way down, but if it is, you're going to need to use full voice or turn it down a bit, which makes you have background music. And background music is good for you people that like to not be boring. And I know there are a few of you out there. <coughs> Ducking threshold, I don't use. I usually have it off. It like when you go silent, it flips the music back on. It puts it back at full volume. But that can get annoying if you're pausing while you're saying stuff. So if you're going, okay. The next song is blah blah blah. It will flip the music on through your uh, pausing. So I like to keep that off and manually turn off voiceover. Go ahead and click check mark. Now I am getting projected, but you guys cannot hear it. Now I'm not. Um, there's many different effects, as you can see, with um, Macamp Light. Um, these are all of them that I normally use, except Swap Channels and VST Hub. I don't use those. I have no idea how. And yeah, I just don't use them. Because all I really need is voiceover and broadcast. So that is basically a tutorial on how to become an online DJ on a Mac. I hope this helped, and thanks for watching.